2018 Grand Final! It has been an incredible journey. We've all seen athleticism, mental agility and chess grandmaster tactics. Just not on this programme. <laughs> but we have seen five fine comedians trying their very best. Who will rise to the top? Who will become the emperor of nonsense? The crown prince of the pointless? The monarch of being a right silly billy? <laughs> Only time will tell. Let us greet them for the last time. Arlo Handler! <laughs> Bridget Christie, Chris Ramsey, Judy Lars, and Sophie Jupa. <laughs> and next to me, my faithful servant, a man who once told me after a few drinks that he has a separate bank account that his wife doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> For this. Oh man, you seem really pumped. <laughs> oh, you love a final, don't you? Love a final. Oh. I'm wearing my combat pre ripped suit, oh. and I'm ready. So let's, cool. let's just do it, Greg. You look really cool. Ah! Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Lucas aid. Shall we start? What is the final prize task category of the series, please? They've been asked to bring in the finest family heirloom. Ooh. Exactly. The finest family heirloom, in your opinion, will gain five fine points for its owner. And at the end of this episode, the person with the most points will take home their family heirloom and four other people's family heirlooms, which feels so wrong, it must be right. <laughs> so sell me your family heirlooms. Christopher. My finest family heirloom is an antique Italian coffee table. It sounds very stylish. <laughs> it is. Here it is. It was purchased by my mum's mum and dad in the 70s, I believe. Surprisingly tasteful for a 70s item. Yeah. <laughs> you open the top of that bad boy and it plays the theme from The Godfather. <laughs> that is a strong oath. <laughs> Sophie, can you beat a coffee table that plays The Godfather theme? I think I can. It's not Italian. But it is a rice cooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No? <laughs> well, I hope it plays music when you open it. There's an ancient African proverb. It goes, there is rice at home. When you're a little kid and you go out to the shops and you see a chocolate bar, your mum's like, there's rice at home. You see a margarita pizza, your mum's like, there's rice at home. You see a PlayStation, Rice. rice. <laughs> is this the actual rice cooker from when you were a child? This is the actual rice cooker from when I was a child. That's quite cute. It's never made in perfect rice, and it fills up not just my belly, but my soul. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't try and emotionally manipulate. I've got to be honest, Ardle, she's done a pretty good job of emotionally <laughs> manipulating me. Your turn, though. Can oh, you do shit. the same? <laughs> um, I brought a, um, a, a biscuit tin. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> I inherited that from my mother, who got it from her mother. And her mother, uh, as a baby, arrived in Ireland with very few possessions in 1917, when Europe was in turmoil. That's good. <laughs> and it's what's in the biscuit tin, I suppose, is what's really relevant and what's really poignant. What we were told it was, was my granny's papers, her, her birth cert. You shorten that, do you? <laughs> It's interesting that you, short, birth, you shorten birth certificates. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, birth <laughs> certificate. I, can, I mean, we can, we've got lots of time. I, I can I can use the full word. <laughs> so the trouble with you is, there's part of me that thinks you've just made all of that up. So I mock your ancestry, do I? Do I? Do I go on about <laughs> the Welsh giants you were descended from? <laughs> I'll take some time to decide whether I believe any of that. Bridget. The most precious thing that has been handed down is DNA. <laughs> My proudest achievement, the thing that Excuse is most precious... Excuse me, can precious... I just... I, and I hate to interrupt Oh, so no, early. that is very rude. Well, you just... <laughs> he made me say the whole word for cert, so I think the least you could do is... <laughs> what? <laughs> what, deoxynucleic acid? <laughs> my proudest achievement is my children. I have 
brought a box with my children's teeth and hair and umbilical cord stops and pre pregnancy kits in it. Yes, you have. <laughs> and there it is. And when they've gone, I will have that. And Unless you lose tonight. <laughs> and it is going to be given away to one of four virtual strangers. <laughs> well, I don't think they'll want it. <laughs> It is very touching. Judy. My family heirloom <laughs> is my blood. We're really pushing what kids want to inherit. <laughs> well, the reality is my blood's been passed down from generation to generation to generation, <laughs> and it will continue to pass down. And if they need more, I can give them more. <laughs> Under what circumstances would your children need a vial of your blood? <laughs> a medical thing, a ritual thing. <laughs> and that blood is going to carry on a legacy, cos it'll be in my kids' body, their kids' body. Yeah, but it's already in them. What's this necklace? <laughs> My blood starts to disappear. <laughs> they can still have my blood. Just, you know, you can store blood for 42 days. Do you want to... <laughs> Do you want to judge? <laughs> the least obvious heirloom is probably a small bottle of blood. <laughs> But I've got to recognise what an amazing bullshitter Judy Love is. <laughs> I'm going to give her two points. OK. I really want a coffee table that plays the Godfather. I was touched by the rice maker. I've chosen to believe Ardell's biscuit tin story, so I'm going to give them all four points. OK. But Bridget's, when I saw that little box, I thought even in many years I'd be touched by that. And I'm going to give Bridget a sweet five. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yes, here we go. And this is the perfect task to whet the appetite. Ooh! Hello, Judy. What is that damn smell? What do you think it is? I don't know. It smells like potato. Oh. Oh, it just comes off. <laughs> identify the liquids. Most accurately identified liquids wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. This is foul. Oh, shut up, man. There's some in there. <laughs> Oh, that is grotesque. Am I supposed to be tasting stuff? All the instructions are on the items. OK. Liquid identification is a... I would say it's a forte of mine. <laughs> it's just the main liquids, though. What are the five main liquids? The brandy, the, um, the water and the milk. <laughs> uh, they're, they're the only three I'm familiar with. <laughs> Adol's right, of course. There are only three liquids, the brandy, the water and the milk. <laughs> <laughs> so it shouldn't be hard to track them down. <laughs> let's crack on. OK, well, let's crack on with Chris and Bridget. You may only spray the perfume on your wrist. Pickled onion. That's the water from a jar of pickled onions. <laughs> well, that's... it might be vinegar. You may only spray the sponge, but then I can do what I want with the sponge. What do you want to do with the sponge? Sniff it, lick it, <laughs> tell it I love it. I think it's like lemon squash or something. Mm -hmm. It's like a strawberry, rosy, pink lemonade kind of thing. You may only squeeze the pipette into your mouth. Water. <laughs> Is it beef stock? It's 
like watery soy sauce. Okay, I'll put that down. Okay. You may only push the valve with the chopstick. That's ridiculous. And it's warm. It's warm. Why is it warm? Oh, craggy. Old tea, I think. Still got four minutes. That's tea. Ah. You can do whatever you want with the balloon. It just smells like a balloon. That looks absolutely revolting. Oh, it's got bits in it! <laughs> Like a, a yeasty thing, but why is it that texture? Is balloon juice a thing? <laughs> Bugger. Well, I've written balloon juice. Oh. <laughs> is balloon juice a thing? Is uh, going in the Taskmaster book of quotes. Congratulations. Right. <laughs> um, and I really loved. It's warm. Why is it warm? <laughs> Um, just start telling me what, what they did successfully. They both got tea, of course they did. Vinegar, Chris, he actually located it to a jar of pickled onions, which is very impressive. Uh, he also got stock, he said it was beef stock, it was vegetable stock. That's fair. I think we have to acknowledge the word stock. <laughs> so I think Bridget got two, Chris got three. Now, here's how Sophie Ardle and Judy got on. <laughs> That chicken soup. That is stock of some sort. I would say it's a it's a beef stock. It's the more accurate the better. Feel right, a Charolais them. cow, beef stock from a Charolais <laughs> cow. <laughs> it's a fruit juice. Could be passion fruit. That smells like lychee fizzy drink. It's like mm, lychee juice. It smells like like onion vinegar. I don't want to spray this on my wrist. <laughs> vinegar. Oh. It smells like a packet of salt and vinegar crisp. That is liquidized crisps. <laughs> Not flavor. It's prawn cocktail. But liquidized. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tea. Tea? Yeah. Six and a half times. Yeah. I, I believe in you. I'm gonna leave it to us. You can do whatever you want with the balloon. Like vomit. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't be crazy. That is rank. <laughs> mushroom. It's mushroom soup. That is mushroom soup. You may only push the valve with the chopstick. Okay, I should have done that one before the mushroom soup. What the? <laughs> Sophie, that's just the lid off of the valve. You can take it off. Thank you. Tell me. That is a very strong tea. Right. That's tea. OK. So it's really just the pipette. It's slightly fizzy. It tastes like ass. Is it Dr Pepper? Do we leave it at that? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I'm covered in it. I'm oh, sorry. So sweet watching you um, trying to get the lid off a bicycle valve. <laughs> with some chopsticks. It's like you're playing a whole different game of Taskmaster. It's like about five minutes.
minutes doing that. Yeah, you did. But you did well. Got lychee, got tea, got mushroom soup, got onion vinegar. Well, you helped her. You gave her an extra clue that you didn't give any of us. Mm. You What's told the clue? her. He told you that you could use your hand to open the lid on the, va on the valve thing <laughs> of the tyre. She would still be there with those chopsticks. <laughs> 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 trying to get that off if it wasn't for I his I would have figured it out eventually. I've got to be honest, Arden, since you've come out here in that red leather jacket, <laughs> you've developed a real attitude. <laughs> And you were reckless with the balloon pop. You were oh. more reckless than I thought, especially as you thought it was vomit. Really and truly, it could have been classed as vomit because once it burst, it started to mix with all the other stuff. And that's really what vomit is. That's what vomit is. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise that your nose was such a powerful weapon and you were asked, light cheek, <coughs> straight. Yeah. Genuinely impressive. So a very cautious woman who was only choosing to use one sense mm -hmm. yes. did pretty well. Yes. By stark contrast, Ardell just <laughs> seemed hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he got the tea, he got stock, he got mushroom soup. So three for Ardell. Okay. Judy got lychee, vinegar, tea. So that's another three points. Lovely. Sophie got the most. She got four. Uh, Ardell, Judy and Chris all got three. Bridget, two. So it's three to Bridget, four to Ardell, four to Judy, four to Chris and five to Sophie. <laughs> Easy. I would like a nice early scoreboard, please, Alex. OK, well, we're all hoping Judy will win an episode finally, but she's currently in last place with six points and Sophie's in the lead with nine points. <laughs> Give me another one. Of course. Well, here they come. Three wheels, two horns, a bell and a vast quantity of ducks. Where's Alex? Alex always helps. <laughs> Alex! Hmm. Arrows. Ducks. You can never have enough ducks. I feel like ducks are my natural enemy. Sometimes people mispronounce my name as Sophie Ducker, and I hate it. <laughs> no. Get the most ducks in Alex's basket. You may only hold one duck at a time. If Alex rings his backwards bell, you must walk backwards until he honks his forwards horn. <laughs> Alex will pedal as fast as he can unless you say one of the magic words. If you say a magic word, Alex will rest for ten seconds. Oh. All the magic words are single-use magic words. Alex will cycle around the circuit for ten minutes. Your time starts when Alex honks his horn. You can only hold one at a time. No, surely not. <laughs> Good. Can I ask you before we watch this, did you regret this task yes. once you had to cycle lots? <laughs> I've been told that you were in a great deal of pain yes. and I'm very much looking forward to it. <laughs> right. um, who are we going to see first? It's Ardell and Chris up first. That's right, the basic boys ride again. Backwards bell, forwards horn. Magic words. Just random magic words. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, Alex, come back. <laughs> Here I come. I don't know the magic words. I don't know what they are. No. Shazam. <laughs> Abracadabra. Monkey! <laughs> Abracadabra? No, it's not one of the magic words. No. Uh, fiddlesticks? No. Flash. <laughs> Where are these magic words? Shoes? No. Quack? Closer. Annoying? That was, a, that was nice. <laughs> Duck. Nearly. Doggy. <laughs> Duckling. 
No. Goose. Head boy. Head boy. Architecture. Still looking for the magic word? Yeah. Okay. This is absolutely horrible. Yeah. Ten seconds. You're a psychopath. You're a psychopath. I'm still really disappointed by not getting the magic words. You're still looking for the magic word? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A very impressive start, I would say. Which magic words were identified? Ardell incorrectly yeah. shouted architect. <laughs> well, he shouted 45 things. <laughs> Have you got a list? Of course I've got a list. He started well with Shazam, Abracadabra and Monkey. <laughs> the three big magic yeah. words. Yeah. Very quickly with things like blazers, trouble, shoes, sausages. So he didn't get any of the magic words, but he well, said... I was very close. You were very close, yeah. You were. I mean, I wanted you to get one so I could have a rest, but you didn't get any. <laughs> but Chris did. Chris got annoying and ducky. All right, well, I'm not going to tell you any numbers yet, Greg. All right, then. We've seen them beetle about after me, but now it's Sophie and me and Bridget and a trike and some ducks. <laughs> oh, he's, he's honked his horn at night. <laughs> I, I want it a tight. That can't be right, can it? I should probably be doing it in a different way, I think. Ah, now what you... Hmm. Hello. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> ah! Quite a lot of ducks left over there. Oh, is ducky a magic word? <laughs> How long do you have to stay there for? Seven more seconds. I'm sure you're making the most of it. Is there anything I can use to keep them... Oh, can I take it off? I've got to go now. Yeah. I don't want to run you over. I have to follow those arrows. OK. Uh, uh... <laughs> you have to walk backwards now. Yeah, but I'm here doing this. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's frustrating because the arrows are pointing at each other now. Like this. You're doing really well. Thank you. <laughs> Frustrating. Thanks, Bridget. Bye bye. Thank you so much. No, thank you. You like the task. You didn't have to make yourself do that. I do everything for him. Uh, it's probably a sad indictment on my life that I found I do everything for him genuinely touching. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet! Um, <laughs> there were some genius moves going on there. I thought the reversing of the arrows so that this fool had to <laughs> spin before you was delightful. And Bridget, the ripping off of the basket... I didn't know it would come off. I almost stood up and cheered. <laughs> Cos I knew this toss pot had to carry on cycling around <laughs> while you stack the... <laughs> My grandmother used to call me a toss pot, genuinely. Oh. Yeah. And then I thought about what that might mean. What? I think it's toss just toss odds and sods in Oh, the pot. OK, I was thinking too much about it. Right. <laughs> right. I refuse to let things continue until I've seen Judy Love try to fill a basket on a trike with ducks. You're in luck, Greg, but I do first want to remind you that they can only hold one duck at a time. Here we go. It's Judy Love. <laughs> Hello, Judy. Can you stop, please? Not unless you say a magic word. Thank you. Oh! oh. Hello, Judy. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right? Yeah, all right. I'd like to say... 
do then. The, the chain's come off. Broken the bike. I need to mend the bike. Yeah. What's up, Alex? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. No, I want you to have a look. You broke it. But the time's going. I know. Here we go. All right. Okay, come back round, Alex. I don't like running. <laughs> Alex, you are. Hold on a minute, Alex. Trudy. Trudy. Come on, quickly, we've got 35 seconds. Alex, get down. <laughs> oh. OK, thank you, Trudy. Is the bike all right now? Yeah, this bit looks fine, and this chain's perfect. <sighs> OK. Yeah. Thanks, Trudy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So it wasn't a huge surprise to me that you uh, physically intimidated him. <laughs> I felt quite sorry for you. Thank you, thank you. I was quite desperate. I didn't notice you handling more than one duck at a time till afterwards. I, was so I, upset never, about I never had more <laughs> than one <laughs> duck at a time. No, what you need to understand, the docs felt some motherly instincts from me. <laughs> they wanted to be nursed in these breasts. <laughs> Supposed to say no to the little ducklings, huh? How am I supposed to do that? La 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 She broke the rules, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. La la la. la, 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 la. <laughs> she broke the rules and the bike. So uh, unfortunately, Judy. <laughs> Judy did get 90 ducks in my basket. I saved 90 ducks in life! <laughs> they weren't in danger! <laughs> they were this, they were in Plastic, Judy! <laughs> Yes, so the numbers were that Bridget got all 148 of the ducks yeah. into the basket. Chris actually got more than Sophie, despite Sophie's system, four more. Chris, 65, Sophie, 61, and Ardle, 48. So those are sort of the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Although, before you score it, um, I do have to show you one more video. <laughs> Remember how well Bridget Christie did? She did also do this. You can only hold one at a time. No, surely not. You may only hold one duck at a time. You may only hold one duck at a time. One duck, one duck at a time. <laughs> only hold one duck at a time. That can't be right. One at a time? That can't be right. One in each hand? No, one at a time. Is it really only one at a time? That can't be right. That can't be right. No, surely not. Right, I've done one at a time. One at a time. 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 One duck. Oh, there you go. I'm so sorry. I don't take any pleasure in that at all. It's totally fair. <laughs> well, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> what a heartbreaking end. <laughs> Let's award the points. Yes, well, it's Ardle three points, Sophie four points, but Chris gets the full five points. There it is. <laughs> is it time for the final task? It is, and also it's time for the final teen task of the series. So, for the last time, let's see the Fab Five face the music. Hello, Ardle. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hello, Chris. Hello. You've started a you, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, has our time started yet? Maybe it has. It maybe has. <laughs> okay. Do you have a hairy chest? Yeah, well, yes. Puff it. You look quite dapper. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> No, so that's now. Yes, I wish it did. Can you open the task, please? <laughs> record the best multi-track song about your team. Oh, God damn it. You must record all six tracks with your voice or body. And each person must record the same number of tracks. Most powerful. 
multi-track song wins. You have 20 minutes. <laughs> Worth reading the last line, I think, before. Uh, do you think? Should we read the last line? Your time starts now. Right. So why don't we could beatbox? I mean, I could whistle. Can anyone sing? No. Well, <laughs> I have been told a few times that, you know, my voice. OK, you're going to sing. <laughs> track one, beat. Yeah. Track two, cymbal. OK. Track three, some kind of rattling noise. Yes, yes. Track four, vocals. Vocals, Track yes. five, vocals. OK. Track six, uh, humming or some shit. Yes. Yes, I like that one. <laughs> OK, OK. That's one song right there. That'll do, that will, we'll do that then. I mean, obviously, we're hugely inspired by Taskmaster himself. Yeah. yeah. Always yes. keep that in mind, OK? I do like the sycophantic angle. I really Yeah, but do. we can't make it too unsubtle, you know what I mean? Right, OK, you've got to let them know. Well, we could say we do it sort of for you. Do it with you in mind. With you in mind. Let's just freestyle. We're like the freestyle house queens. That's, that's quite a queen. House, house queens. That's good. House queens. Something about how unbreakable we are as a team. What's an unbreakable thing? Like what? Diamond. Diamond. Yeah. We're actually called the water diamond. <laughs> uh, so by the water diamonds. <laughs> the water diamonds are banned from Fleetwood. You're joking. No. We're already a band. Yeah. Tungsten diamonds. Just checking it now. Why have we wasted at least five minutes coming up with a band name when that is literally the most important thing of this whole godforsaken task? <laughs> well, straight away, I think the house queens seem to be driven by a baseless confidence. <laughs> they were full of confidence. Bridget went her own way. Sure, whistling like my grandfather. <laughs> uh, perhaps less confident in the boys. You sort of had the energy of... Sort of two low-level bank clerks at a training <laughs> day. <day-to-day. laughs> yeah. And they've come up with an uplifting anthem to show you their love of you, but not too obviously. Oh, good. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to show it too obviously. <laughs> Here we go. It's a really old boy band called the Tungsten Diamonds. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris. Ardlin, Chris. Chris. Chris and Ardlin. Chris. Chris. That's what they say, that's what they say. But our teen juice is even thicker than blood. Yeah, we care. We really, really care. In a high five standoff, we'll take your fucking hand off. Score a hat trick with a yoga ball stag. Do banter with no at all. Cooler than ice sliding down a pole. And if you want an aubergine shifted, give us a call. You put an aubergine in my mouth. <laughs> you put an aubergine in my mouth. We care and we want to please Mr. T. We love you, Mr. T. Everything we do, we do it with you in mind, Mr. T. You inspire me. And Chris, 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 I literally don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I've just heard. <laughs> Annoyingly, um, the couple of tasks that I rapped about haven't been shown in the series, so that's including the aubergine one, yes. so that's just gobbledygook. Yes. Well, that's good to know, because I literally thought you'd gone mad. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about, this aubergine... The women didn't have to do an aubergine no, task. Do an aubergine uh, task. I think he's making that up. OK. I put an aubergine in his mouth. I don't think we'd make you do yeah. that. Yeah. I can't... <laughs> You've got to I believe us. It, it doesn't sound machine. like this show. <laughs> We've seen the boys make beautiful music. Now, finally, here's Bridget, Judy and Sophie's composition. Welcome to House Queens. Good night, Your Majesties. <laughs> Uh, 
come on now, come give me a twirl. We're going to let all our rhymes unfurl to the boys and girls all around the world. Cause you gotta listen to the house queens. One team, one dream. We all scream for the house queens. One team, one dream. We all scream for the house queens. One team, one dream. We all scream for the house queens. One team, one dream. For the house queen. Toss master, things faster. We're gonna cook you some pasta. We're gonna take you into the other room and beat you till you need a plaster. Oh, Greg, what you doing? Why you sitting there on that throne? Cause when the house queen's coming to the taskmaster house, you're gonna be left all alone. One team, one dream. We all scream for the house queens. One team. One dream, we all scream for the house queens. Enter the house queens. I feel foolish for doubting that that whistle would fit in. Absolutely Beautiful. slid in. In the song, I appear to be being fed pasta before <laughs> you beat me and give me a plaster. <laughs> That's how you show love. With carbs, pasta. Is there any, any aubergine in this pasta? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's rice at home, Chris. Right. Uh, <laughs> I never doubted the house queens. The house queens and bears. <laughs> <laughs> you know... <laughs> What did you find, Bridget? Because Bez never whistled on any of those. <laughs> no, she, also she also provided all the percussion, the stomping. Yeah, yeah. yeah the stomping, stomping, which was... Yeah. That was I mean, quite hard to do, actually. Yeah, the damp style, oh, yeah. it was unique. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> well, there was more flamboyant than that, Greg. Do you want to see the dancing again? I would love to see the dancing again. Oh, don't. The dancing. <laughs> It actually brought me to mind something that happened earlier on in the series. Do you remember a bit when Bridget was walking and it was funny? <laughs> I remember several bits when, yeah. I've, when I've enjoyed Bridget's walk. Well, it turns out she dances exactly the same way as she walks. <laughs> <laughs> the singing was nice. I mean, they are both cracking tracks. Let me acknowledge that first. I don't think there would be many people who would question the superiority of one team, one dream for the house queens. I'm going to give the girls five points each, mm -hmm. but I'm going to give the boys a sweet three points each. So three to the boys, five to the girls! There it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the series! <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm still really pumped. Oh. <laughs> um, who's going to read out the final task, you silly boy? I would like Judy Love to read the last one out. <clears throat> Draw a life-size self-portrait your nose must be poking through your nose hole at all times. Most accurate self-portrait wins. You have 200 seconds. So you're going to be stepping behind your canvases, poking your nose through the triangle, so you won't be able to see what you're doing or what you're doing it with. Place them behind the canvases. All right, there you go. We do need noses protruding at all times, Greg. 200 seconds. Good luck. And they're off, Greg. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, I've got an instant favourite, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> features, features, accuracy. <laughs> there are some good ones. There are some good ones. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Remember the features that you have. <laughs> Remember the features of all humans. All man. human beings. <laughs> um, I would say, unless you have a rectangular head, worth doing an outline. 
Think about the things you need to be able to see and hear. <laughs> OK, you have just five seconds left. If you look like a giant frog, that's great. <laughs> OK, please, stop drawing. Okay, at this point, I'll ask you to step back on your circles. Please don't look at your canvases. Greg, you're going to judge, but um, first of all, I'm going to ask Ardle to step forward. <laughs> Is it like looking in the mirror, Ardle? The mirror, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just lovely. Bridget, would you like to step forward and have a look at your picture? It's not bad. It isn't bad. I think I'd get a better idea if Bridget was dancing. <laughs> 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 it's pretty good. All right, Chris, would you like to step forward and have a look at yours? It's not bad at all. It's better than I draw when I'm looking at the canvas. <laughs> Are you ready to see yourself, Judy? Yes. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Look at the eyes and the eyelashes and look at the eyeshadow. If only you could have remembered the eyes themselves. <laughs> One left to see. Sophie, do you want to step forward and have a look at yours? I've got ears, I've got the hair. I've got the floating eye. Flowers. <laughs> no, these are the two eyes. Yeah, I know that. Just one of them isn't on your fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you could have judged these. Do you want me to go from the top? Let's go from the bottom. <laughs> Why are you looking at Ardle? <laughs> if the eyes weren't directly on top of the head, and you've got any features right, <laughs> I wouldn't be giving you one point. <laughs> um, Judy, yours is quite rubbish. Two points. <laughs> I like Sophie's because I think it captures something of the woman, but I don't like it as much as the other two. OK, so three points to Sophie Duker. No, I'm going to give four points to Sophie Duker and I'm going to give five points to the other two because I think they really do capture each other, but there's something of the energy of that that I like. There we go. So Bridget and Chris get the five points. Please come down and we'll see you that's a fact of the final scores. <laughs> On my friends. Oh yeah. What a competition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you gave out the scores, Greg? Yes. And Judy, as we know, has not won an episode. And you're building up to say that she's Well, last again, yes. So Judy um... <laughs> One end of the leaderboard, it's Judy with 13. At the other, 22 points go to Sophie Juker. <laughs> Whoa! Sophie Juker wins the episode. You're the conflicted winner of other people's precious heirlooms. Please go and collect your things. <laughs> you join us for the presentation of our hallowed trophy. In just a few moments, a life will change forever. So here we go. The suspense is immeasurable. Please, little Alex who? <laughs> what are the final scores? Well, in fifth place, but I do need to make it clear, she is the highest scoring loser we've ever had, <laughs> with 142 points. It's Judy Love! On 153 points and wearing a wonderful leather jacket, it's Ardell O'Hanlon! <laughs> In third place with 157 points, it's the wonderful Bridget Christie! Yeah. And then they've been trading places throughout the series, but with 170 points. In second place, we have Chris Ramsey. <laughs> He was right up there throughout, and just three points behind this series winner, who had 173 points. Our brand new Taskmaster champion is <laughs> Sophie Juker. <laughs> Please thank you.